It gives me great pleasure to introduce... Michaela Sterling. And you must be... Francesca Bizzetton's character in the Netflix series Bizzetton has undergone some significant changes in season 3, sparking a lot of interest and speculation among fans. One of the biggest questions is about her sexuality. Is Francesca Bizzetton queer? Is she bisexual? And what was going on when she looked at Michaela Sterling in the intriguing final scene? Let's break it all down. Firstly, in the latest season, Francesca marries John Sterling, a character who is new to the series. The relationship is built on a foundation of companionship, friendship and mutual respect. However, in the finale, we see a pivotal moment that hints at a different side of Francesca's romantic life. Enter Michaela Sterling, John's cousin. When Francesca meets Michaela, she becomes visibly flustered, blushes and stumbles over her words. The reaction is quite telling and suggests an immediate attraction or at least a significant emotional response to Michaela. Now, this is a major departure from the books by Julia Quinn, where Francesca has two straight relationships. In the novels, Michaela Sterling, John's cousin, becomes Francesca's second husband after John's tragic death. However, the show has taken a different route by gender flipping Michael into Michaela. This change indicates that the showrunners are setting up a queer romantic storyline for Francesca. Showrunner Jess Brownell has shed some light on this decision. She mentioned that while reading Francesca's book, When He Was Wicked, she related to Francesca's feelings of being different, a theme that resonated with her own experience as a queer woman. Brownell saw thematic potential in exploring Francesca's story as a queer narrative. She believes that Francesca's sense of feeling different, originally portrayed as introversion in the books, can also be interpreted as a part of queer experience. So, is Francesca Bridgerton queer? Based on the developments in the show, yes, she is. Her future storyline involves a romantic relationship with Michaela Sterling, making her character part of the LGBTQ representation. However, her specific sexual orientation hasn't been explicitly labeled yet. She could be bisexual or pansexual, as a relationship with both John and Michaela indicate an attraction to multiple genders. Furthermore, Brownell emphasizes that Francesca's love for John is genuine and valid. The relationship is characterized by companionship and shared interests, even if it lacks the passionate element that might be more prominent in a relationship with Michaela. This approach aims to highlight that different kinds of love are valid and that Francesca can have two great loves in her life. So, why was Francesca looking at Michaela in that scene? Her flustered reaction hints at an immediate attraction and sets the stage for a deep emotional connection with Michaela. This moment is crucial as it lays the groundwork for Francesca's evolving understanding of her sexuality and a future romantic journey. I take thee to be my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part.